as I'm co convinced that you know that the European Union is working very hard to find the resources to assist, we need to do an assessment of, of the of the of the floods. We're doing that right now, and as correctly said, this is this is what we are working on uh, around the clock uh, over the weekends and so on and so forth. Um, but it just underlines that the economic recovery of Bosnia Herzegovina and uh, now is even more important, uh, I would say, uh, because uh, the needs they are certainly out there. Um, as you know, as European Union, as has been stressed several times, both by my colleagues uh, from Brussels, by the commissioners, but also by us here, we've been working on the fundamentals in the in the past months. The fundamentals being uh, the economic recovery um, uh, of of uh, uh, Bosnia Herzegovina and the economic situation of the countries that we want to have joining the European Union. Um, in doing that, we have been uh, offering our assistance to develop a national economic reform program, uh, a competitiveness and growth program. And last week, we had here in, in Sarajevo a gathering where we had our own uh, forum for prosperity, prosperity and jobs with the participation of 400 people with all from all walks of life, uh, be it politicians, think tanks, uh, experts, and so on. And equally important, we had over 4,000 people linking into this via the social networks. Our discussion uh, that we had here in Sarajevo, but also the initiatives that we have uh, driven out of our headquarters in Brussels through the National Economic Reform Program and the Competitiveness and Growth Program, they are pointing out that in six areas, priority needs to be made. And those six areas are to look at the taxation for jobs, lowering the barrier to jobs, business climate, the enterprises, there's a number of legislative issues that needs to be handled, corruption and social protections, all of which is relevant to the, uh, the uh, program that we are, we are uh, introducing today. Um, of course, the forum will continue its work now. It will, it will not just be the end. It's not the beginning of the end. It's the beginning of something for which today's EPA program also will link, in, link into. It's very clear that for the European Union has been uh, active in this area for a number of years. We have uh, provided more than 20 million euros in supporting small and medium enterprises and, and the tourist industry, industry sector. What we are doing right now is uh, we are having our services looking for what will our packages look in the future. Again, the support package for the floods will play into this. Uh, we will have an assessment of the damages, as I said earlier on. But at the same time, we remain committed to ensure that work on the fundamentals of the EU integration process continue in Bosnia-Herzegovina, for example, in the areas of economic governance, and that the private sector receives further support. That's what we're about. This aims at fostering jobs, small and medium enterprise competitiveness, and create tangible socio-economic impact on the local communities in Bosnia-Herzegovina.